Hayden, you might remember me from such movies as when we got the 500s and uh, Enoch's Point Adventure Ride and throw your missus off the back of a DR650. <laughs> Anywho, we're in the car. We're on our way to Alpine Motorcycles Yamaha. They've been kind enough to give us Tenere 700 for the weekend and we're going to give the thing a bit of a run. And I'm going to stay on the back. Because he's going to ride the bike properly this time. They're not going to throw the missus off the back. I think she's even got some Steel Jesus bar to hang on to on this one. So, happy days. Anyway, stay with us. We're going to get up in the mountains, head over to Bright for some lunch, I think, if the weather's kind to us. And uh, sneak over to Whitlands to my brother's house and uh, have a couple of frosts and a fire. Stay tuned. Rolled in to Alpine Motorcycles Yamaha. Have a look at what we are going to be setting our little asses on today. Anyone, you owe me a slab if I can flick Lizzie off hanging onto those bad boys, surely. And the old aftermarket Acro. It has been bucketing down rain all night. And I've turned up here today and we have been kissed on the dick by a fairy. The sun is out, it's dried out nearly all of the friggin' road. Another couple of hours, we're gonna be into it. Stay no, hang on, to the, look at the Jesus bar you got here on the back. There's no way. If I throw you off, I deserve a slab. <laughs> you deserve a slab, I reckon <laughs> I deserve one. It's a nice bar. You reckon you could ride that thing today? Nah, it'd be too big. Look, my feet are like in barely touched. Not the first time she said that, ladies and gents. <laughs> You want to go and try and do an adventure on a bike, but you don't have the bike. You can just ring Cook's Hire, and those guys have got a range of bikes from the 300L. So if you're a learner and you want something a bit smaller, the 300L is perfect. Good lightweight little adventure bike, or all the way up to one of these. You can hire one of these. Prices are actually really affordable. So and gear, they hire yeah. gear out as well. The whole experience. Yeah. Give them a buzz. We'll look them up. www cooksmotorbikehire.com.au so I'm going to take this one out today which is the uh, T7 Tenere but uh, the other one in the range is the T1200 Tenere Jason can tell you a few of the differences between the two yep so the 12, 1200 obviously comes with the Oland suspension fully electric adjustable on the go um, standard cruise control on the 1200 as well um, nice machine for on the road so the difference really, I guess, is how much on and off-road you do and how comfortable you want to be. So for us, we probably do 85%, 90% off-road, but still need the ability to shoot up the highway a bit. What yeah. about the tank capacities on them both? Yeah, 1200 uh, got a fair bit more. Right? It's got about 15 litres more. 700, um, weight-wise on the bike, you're looking at about 124 kilos. What sort of suspension are they running on these? Uh, KYB, so good suspension package on the on the uh, T700. He's put this pack rack on the back just so you can tie your luggage on and, 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 and hold a racks for Lizzie. And uh, the crash bars, which are all Yamaha accessories, yeah? Yep, so yep, all, all purchased. Yamaha accessories. 1949, right away, on road. Stay tuned, see if we can throw this girl off the back. There you go, back there, you comfy. Lots of people camp up in here, don't they? Oh, cool! Sweet! Feet up! Nobody, nobody wants wet boots. The only thing you've got to be careful of is the green moss. 
God damn, that green moss can be slippery. Might as well stay up for this one. How cool. How cool is this track? What a great machine this thing is. Oh, super comfy. <laughs> Bit on down here by Jingo's. Stay left, I'd say. Wouldn't be the go. Oh, that's going to be sharp. We might get up it a bit, eh? Is that alright? So it's alright when it's a race situation and we're passing people, but out here not so good. <laughs> Is that correct? Is that correct? You're willing to risk it for the biscuit when it's a race scenario? Hello, I'm Inga from Sweden. Miss the water. Woohoo! Hear that Santa down bounce around a bit? That's why I'd get rid of it. I wouldn't need it for what sort of riding I do. I can see that the average punter would love it because he could change a tyre and you know bits and pieces. But for us, what we're doing. you can see over the dashboard with my GoPro mounted where it is because on the 500 I stand up all day long but uh, with this it's got a bit more shit going on up the front here and um, tell me your comments in the uh, comments if you enjoy being able to see the controls and the bike uh, as opposed to just being on top of the helmet where you can just see the open track in front with no bike be interested to know just be careful that you don't get one in your helmet Not as active because it's been raining. We'll switch back. Have a look at the stack boulders. Woohoo! Oh, what a pisser. Tell you what, I'm bloody loving this machine. It steers good, it's nimble. Its power is like not overly aggressive, it's just smooth it's really smooth it's got plenty there look i'm not i haven't even revved it out i don't feel haven't really needed to brakes are starting to bed in now they're working they're a bit slick on the way in Oh, I could, I could really get used to this. This is everything you want to do on an adventure bike. These are the sort of tracks you want to be able to ride, you know? Just cool views and ups and downs and some tricky bits as well has anyone ever used a pillion strap can they tell me please if they if they've used one are they any good because i reckon for riding like this where we're both standing up over all this really rough shit i reckon one would be handy the only other thing is we could just ratchet strap ourselves together <laughs> yeah that means when you go i go or both oh that front brake oh was he a was that abs yeah I've got to turn it off. Give me a second. Press and hold. Why is it not doing anything? 
I think you might have to be stopped. We're just going to stop here and sit down for a sec. Sorry. Yeah, you got to be, you got to be, um, when you start and stop, see the little ABS light on the dash there. Now it says it's in off-road mode. I just noticed coming down there, the, the brake got all spongy and felt shit house, and it was the ABS stopping it. So he, yeah, I've got to just remember when I start the motor again, it must reset. You've got to turn it off. <laughs> that is cool. That's really cool. Holy shit. Lunch. It's 12.30, Aiden. Come on. Think about lunch. Feed your wife. Oh, yeah. Have a look at that big rock. Shit, we need a ride up there, don't we? Yes, you can. It's exactly what we need to do. Hang on to your cheese and bickies. Woo! Have a go at that spot! So it's just you and me, a romantic night at the Whitlands Hostel. How good's that? Airbnb, we couldn't have picked a better Airbnb. Very kind of the Woz dog. You want to see what time their meals go off in there? Why don't we swing in here then? Yes. You made it. You made it to full punk and not fry. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like? Uh, an hour and a half to go. We'll be at our Airbnb courtesy of Wazzy and Arles <laughs> in the living room. Great. Big mm. sang, huh? Where did you go, Nick? Ginger and something or other. Mm -hmm. mm. A bit of calamari. Look at where that comes from. Oh, frothy. Frothy Thank dingbat. Ta-da. Ta-da, everyone. That is brilliant up there. Look at that. A bit nipply after the uh, having a couple of froth jars at the pub, isn't that? This is cool if this is it. Just winds up the side of the hill. Beautiful, my beautiful couple of days. How funny as soon as you get up a bit of altitude, your lens starts fogging up. Shit hot. Look at that gully. Imagine that on the HG bike. Oh, no, Shirk Olosovic should have loved it up there, wouldn't it? You see that? That is all in. You like that, Russ? That is all in, my friends. Have a go at that! That is living, Barry. Punka, you fed us delicious food. <laughs> Bit fresh there, possum. Yeah, right. Nose sniffly, is it? Coming around the side of the mountain here, definitely, aren't we? What a beauty of a spot. That is pretty, huh? And cold. <laughs> You're ready for the warm fire and a glass of wine, aren't you, Possum? If it was 10 degrees warmer, you'd enjoy it more, wouldn't you? <laughs> Heated jacket, that's what we need for you. you just, as soon as you're cold, you just go super quiet. <laughs> you're not, like, excited about life anymore. You're just like, OK, I'm done. Fattest McBee, shit son. 
it was it was all four wheels up that bars switch back Woo! pull it back son pull it back Really laying her ears back. It's like a dirt super highway out here. It's bloody grouse. Loves these. Yamaha, you have done a fine job with this piece of equipment. I've had a really enjoyable day. I can now see why people would buy those 1200s. Like, if you were a little bit older than us, like, say, 10 years older and you wanted to be really comfortable and just wanted to go and have a look around the countryside, pretty good way to do it. Oh, marsupial desk. <laughs> as long as he doesn't marsupial desk hop out onto the front wheel and make us ma crash him a desk. I haven't really revved this thing past 6,000 revs. I, I, I don't really know what you'd think you'd need to rev it to. It pulls nice off the bottom. You know, like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you need to. I think you just change gears. The motor on this is so fucking smooth right through the whole range. It's just really nice to ride, really easy to ride. Yeah, you've had a gun. You're cold now, you've had enough. <laughs> Do you want me to light? I'm going to light the inside fire for you. Let me just... That was a great day on that thing. What a machine. Have a look at it. I'll come out. I'll get a stubby. Just relax. Give me a minute. Yeah, whole frozen Bessie over here still thinks it's a dream. Look at her trackies are on. Three jumpers, three pairs, three pairs of pants on now. Cooks Motorbike Hire. www.cooksmotorbikehire.com.au They hire everything. Even hire one of these if you want. I thoroughly enjoyed that today. It rode the technical stuff. First gear is grouse. Clutch feels good. Uh, first gear is not too tall. Just a good looking, just a very comfortable feeling rig. Can't really fault it, to be honest. The dash is good. Tells you what gear you're in. I know that sounds silly, but you know what gear you're in when you're in neutral, how fast you're going. Pretty easy to see the dash. They put it up nice and high, so even though you got... See how I got shit on the dashboard here? She's got a little glass of red, a little nano blanket. She's got a little wood fire here that Ados has got the fan pump. She was cold though. Almost cold. She doesn't do cold. If you seen how many clothes she had on, you would wonder how it was possible that she was cold. But... So, day two, we're on, we're off. Here we are, was as we're about to leave, about to head off. Going down to Whitfield for breakfast. Pulled in last night, looked like it had two bars, now I've stopped. The fuel light is flashing at me. That's bad, I think. So we're gonna duck up the shed and see if we can find ourselves a little bit of petrol. Oh. Nah, I said he's locked the shed, we've got to wing it. <laughs> no, negative on the wind. I'm holding out for a light, need to break up the dark. I'm waiting up for a sign, some neon in the rough. I save you in the twilight. Get me from the sinless midnight It's hotter in the night time Unraveling from tainted paradise Air pulling me under Silver tongue telling me lies Somebody's a lover It was the thrill of my life Feel played in high stakes They don't know your race and your heart Leave it to fate And it's just where it starts Yeah, my itinerary it's not Harley. Look at him strap his back back on here, bloody. Trade the Harley in here. Ah, good morning. We're gonna sneak out here a bit. 
hang a ride and head into Mount Buffalo to have a bit of a look around, find some hectic trails to take this bike up for fun. Oh, shit, son. There'd be some trout in there, but I didn't bring a telescopic fishing rod. We might go up sec track just because it looks a bit more hectic and aseptic. That's a good size washout. And a full drive. I think the drone's been stuck in a tree, which is not ideal. And I can hear someone down here cutting some firewood with a chainsaw, and I need to, uh, unfortunately, this tree needs to come down to get my drone back. How you going? I've got a really random question for you. You don't want to make a quick hundred bucks. <laughs> I put my drone up up there, and the thing's stuck in a little sapling like this, just in the top of the tree. I'll come up. <laughs> You're a fine man. Oh mate's gonna come cut it down for us. So that's it's gotta be that. I can't see it from here. I can't see it, but it has to be there. Doesn't it? Oh, all right, we're back on the road again. We went drone searching. Old Skydio, you're supposed to miss the trees and sometimes you don't. Sit down if you want, honey. Want to sit down? Sit down. There you go. We'll be able to get up and sit down. It'll be a bit harder for me, but that's all right. No, 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 no. Whoa, fuck, I've got to hang on. Whoa. Yeah, we've got to stand up, sorry. We're not going to make it otherwise. Fuck, a bit on. She loose. Ooh, sounds like you're gonna come. Whoa! Fuck, Jay, these tyres. Only just gonna make it. Alright, you can sit down, mate. Yeah, worn out, huh? Car from the track here, that's alright, we'll go down that. Fucking heaps quicker to get out to the bitumen for you than the other way. I don't know where we're gonna end up if we go the other way. I'll just go slow, okay? loose. Hang on to your fanny packs. We're into it. Along on me push back, honey, when I noticed you. I'd much rather be squeezing a throttle like me in this hole, mate. That's for sure. Hey, old cock. He's 
just fucking cruising along, having a fat time. He just barreling along. <laughs> hey boys, that looks bloody great. <laughs> Gusty of you frothing. Yeah, hey, we're gonna go down this one. Just sort of sneak down here. Oh, there's a Modi crosser. Number one. <laughs> oh, that's a big that's a big call. Here we are, Alpine motorcycles. <whistles> Thanks boys, we've had a big old fat time. That was a lot of fun. We enjoyed this motorcycle, didn't we? Very much. We are tired. <laughs> we did launch into a bottle of red last night by the fire, so we're probably a little bit doughy this morning. And then, first hectic track, we lost the drone and spent so three hours looking for it. Almost killed two people by chopping a tree down. Anyway, <laughs> we got out of there and we were a little flat after that. We did a few more miles and then just belted back to the, uh, to Wang by the road. But this bike is capable of doing all those things. Very comfortable. I think if you want a bike to go cruising around that does both off-road, on-road, it's probably up there with more off-road or, or more capable at dirt road, full drive track. Yeah. Probably the most capable adventure bike I've ridden for that. And we had pretty average tyres on there. Like, we've got the Pirelli Scorpions on there, which, I mean, if you were doing heaps of road Ks, they'd probably be all right, but I'd, that'd be the first thing I'd get rid of. Yeah. Going up that big rocky pinch near the end. <laughs> yeah, well, we had to keep the berries into her because she was wheel spinning the whole way off the rocks, but very stable. When you're turning around lock to lock, the thing's got a really good turning circle. On the big KDMs, I feel like you're you, you know, if the thing goes to tip over, it's going to fall down. Whereas this, manoeuvrable, you know, you can do a Yui on a dime, no dramas, which is good. Gives you confidence that you're not, you know, stopping and starting, turning around, uh, even with a passenger on the back. Like, it's, yeah, it's you know, so smooth. super smooth. Take it off in first gear. First gear is great. I reckon you'd be able to get up. I didn't put it through any crazy, real crazy stuff this time, but I reckon you'd be able to get up pretty crazy stuff easily. First gear's not too tall, first gear's pretty short, you know, so you can start and stop on the side of a hill, no problems without, you know, wearing the clutch or whatever. I liked it. I'm a fan. Yeah.